I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. Confession of St. Peter. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Hey, if you love our videos, if you're learning about your faith in places you never expected to learn about your faith from, a Missouri Synod Lutheran pastor and his Jack Russell Terrier named Thor, go ahead and like and subscribe our videos today. Subscribe. Join us. You can also go to support org and give today. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us a rolling. Mark 18, 27 and following. When Jesus and went, on, uh, went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi, on the way he asked his disciples, whom do people say the Son of Man is? And they told him John the Baptist, and others say Elijah, and others say one of the prophets. Who do you say that I am? He said. Peter answered him, you are the Christ. And he strictly charged them not to tell anyone about him. Is it the confession of Peter or Peter's confession? Is it all about Peter? Or is it all about the confession? A lot of times Protestants make it all about the confession to avoid um, our Roman Catholic buddies who make it all about Peter. We'll take a look at that. Both have problems. Make it all about the confession. It sort of detaches it from the mouth that makes the confession. Make it all about Peter, then it detaches it from the confession. Peter confessed what he was given to confess. This is not about Peter as Pope. Matthew, Matthew 16, where he makes this confession, um, Jesus charges them and then begins to talk about suffering and dying for our sins. How the Son of Man must suffer many things at the hands of the chief priests and teachers of the law, be crucified and die, but after three days raised from the dead. Remember, Peter, all about Peter, takes him aside, rebukes him, not you, Lord. And he did it with a heart full of love. Heart full of love. So it's not about Peter. Because in one breath, Peter's the head of the class. Blessed are you, Simon Bar Jonah, for flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven. You are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not overcome them. I will give you the keys to the kingdom. Um, the kingdom and whatever you bind on heaven or on earth will be bound in heaven. What you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. It's not about Peter. Because Peter's only as good as his confession. And it's not about the confession occurring without a voice. Somebody needs to make that confession. To, to confess is homologai. Homologeo is the Greek word. To same say. Homo, same. Legeo, say. So the Lord says... And then we same say with him, I am the Lord your God. You are the Lord our God. I brought you out of Egypt. You brought us out of Egypt. So when Peter confesses Jesus, he is, his confession is sure because it flows from the Lord's words. Your confessions, when they flow from your own thoughts and feelings, are only as sure as you. See Peter when he takes Jesus aside and rebukes him. You don't have in mind the things of God, Jesus says to Peter. You have in mind the things of men. This is about Jesus, who Jesus is. Peter is the confessor. He confesses only what is given him to confess. It's not about Peter as much as it's about Jesus. You're the Christ. You're the son of the living God. For us, this is not about us. It's not about you making a decision. It's not about you having the right confession. It's not about you. It's about Jesus for you. Who is this Jesus? How is he? What kind of God is he? Well, he's one that dies. What does it mean that he's the Christ? It means that he suffers and dies for our sins. If you confess a Christ other than the one who who suffers and dies, then you are confessing a Jesus other than one that Peter confesses. Turn Peter into a pope, 
You're missing the point of this text. Make it not about Peter at all and only about nebulous words. You're missing the point of this text. Flesh and blood didn't reveal the confession to Peter. The Father did. Flesh and blood didn't reveal the confession to you. The Spirit did. The Father did through the Spirit. So that you confess Jesus flows from the Word. So it's not, let's focus on what Peter says, he's a great Pope. And it's also not, let's focus only on the words and not the guy. You need both. There needs to be someone to confess. What are they going to confess? The Spirit's words about Jesus. But that person who confesses is only as good as the words that he preaches. And the words out there in the space without someone to confess does no one any good. There's ministry here. Those who preach and those who hear. So someone speaks the confession, but the confession does them no good unless the confession is the Lord's words. And if they get all wrapped up in themselves and all that they've done, look at Peter. This is why this is so glorious. This is who Jesus is. Peter gets it right. He doesn't even understand it. What does it mean that you're the Christ Jesus? It means you're going to suffer and die. That's what it means. And then I love this day is in the middle of epiphany because it, it, it all the more tells us what the epiphany season is about. Who is this Jesus? What's he about? He's the one who suffers and dies for our sin. And flesh and blood didn't reveal that to us, but our Father in heaven. So a blessed confession of St. Peter Day. Peter's confession. Confession of St. Peter. The Father puts the words in Peter's mouth. Peter delivers them to us. Faith, which is born of the words, grasps hold of that promise, and we're saved. We're saved in the words. You're the Christ, Son of the living God. I'm Pastor George Barkart. And this has been another Higher Things video short.